Hey guys, it's BNO, and welcome back to Croc 2. In the last part, we did some cart riding, and then we also did something else. Uh, we extinguished some gobbers from fire. Croc, come quick, King Gobbers, cute little pet mammoth. He wander up Devil's Devil Tower, home of mean little Unga Bungas. Gobba, too scared to go up there. Croc, help. Okay, Gobba, Croc, find mammoth. So now we gotta watch out for the Unga Bungas. I, I don't know if this is gonna be racist or not, but okay. Anyway. Anyway, we just gotta find the mammoth. Ooh. That's an Oonga Boonga. But they come back together after a while, so... After a short amount of time, so... Don't feel like you have to... Attack them, really, because there's no point, really. No, really. I think there's nothing down there. Music's awesome. As always. Anyway, I believe this is probably... Well, the other two stages were rather regular when you think about it. Bonk. Ah, gosh, that mammoth. Anyway, it's it reminds me a bit of the bird thief. In fact, it probably is bird thief stage. And considering that the next two stages aren't repeats... Oh, this cave music. the ice world is the most different of, of all the worlds, to be honest. You've got the snowball, and then you've got the Roger a Red Ant stage. They're probably the most different ones. I mean, this one, you've got four stages where you are Croc, it's just that the one, next, the fire one, that one's a bit different. Don't you just hate how draw distance goes diagonally? Like, I think they handle draw distance as in the square area. Thank you, Necessary Lava Pit. Wonder what people are doing here. It's the get confused what direction you were going room. That kind of room, you know. Oh, do I have to go on that ledge? No, I thought there was a heart there and I was like, oh, I didn't go there. But now it's just a stick. Anyway. Devil Tower. Ooh. Sounds menacing. There's Oonga Boongas. That's menacing enough. There we go. Some pretty big leaps you gotta make on this stage. How am I gonna get that? Maybe this box will solve my problems. Or lag, that works too. Box, did you solve problem? Generally, yes, you did. Pretty much the only way this game can get terribly difficult is just to make more difficult jumps. <laughs> and you think about it. I haven't restocked, but that's okay, I've got tons anyway. want you. This is going to be a crystal at the end. I'd rather get all the crystals. Yeah, I don't know if I would have had enough time had I got gotten that heart, you know? Music is so awesome! Ah! Ooh, green gummy. Fancy. Aha! See, I'm running on love hearts. Aha! Sequence break! Was that actually a sequence break? No. I didn't have to climb it. <laughs> Thank you, Box. So anyway, um, I wanna talk about nothing really. Oh, the bridge is too long to get to, so you're like, oh, dang it, now I gotta go to the cave. Ah! 
The younger bungas are the big enemies, you know. Bunga bunga. Pretty sure you can get onto that ledge without hitting the lava. Good enough. <laughs> There's actually something up there that, that probably would be, but then I didn't have to go back. Now. Dang it! Yeah, that was a box. Box. Apparently, you can do like a, a cool f uh, flip. I don't really know how you do that. Like I saw someone playing this game and they did like this awesome flip, and I'm like, how did you do that? Like, they like jumped and then they like, did like a... Did I just attempt to do it just then? That was it! There you go, I think. I think you gotta press both side steps at the same time. Now before I kill myself, practice, probably practice it in a bit more of an open area. And it's probably not a very handy move if I just found out now after 100 percent the game before, you know? Things aren't handy if you don't know them by the time you 100% things. <laughs> oh, nope, nope, that's my item keys. Oh, you just press both of them, no jump. Okay. It's kind of cool, but... It's like the, um, side jump in Mario 64. I, I didn't really find much use of that, to be honest. In this stage, you can really tell why the why draw distance is very necessary. Because suddenly everything is like... Because this stage just has a very central room where you can go up. And I like the idea. But unfortunately, once you get to draw distance... Ah! <laughs> this game has some weird draw distance. Oh! It's Golden Gobbo time! You know, actually, I was doing kind of well in this world. We haven't messed up any golden gobbos yet, so hopefully I'll jinx it right now, so we don't do it. Dude, there's chest in the golden gobbo section. What? You need to do the golden gobbo in order to get all the crystals this time, apparently. Okay. I'm okay with that. I want to get full health after this stage. Again, I don't know how you do this without tank controls, you know? It's a lot easier with tank controls. Oh. Dang it! I thought I jinxed myself. And then I started the lagometer. The lagometer. That isn't the lagometer. Anyway. There he is. Ah! Hunger Bungas! They just, like, set themselves up. Again. Alright, so we gotta get like 15 more crystals. Maybe that. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hunger bungas. Is this a bottomless pit or is that just the floor? I can't tell. I think it's a bottomless pit. Probably would be. Cause, yeah, I can't tell where the floor is. I can't tell where the floor is. That'll come in handy once I get all the full health. Climb, 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 climb. Yep. Oh. Aha! Secret! Yes well, it's not really a secret, but... You got all the crystals, that's happy. That's, that is happy. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, so now I guess we're just gonna catch him. Nice skull and bones ladder you got there. Wait, how did the freaking mammoth climb all the stuff? I understand maybe he goes up uh, walkways and stuff, but how the heck does he climb ladders? Anyway, that was literally it. Thank you, Croc. No problem. Anyway, you know what, actually? You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to go there. I'll go there after I'm done with 
this stage, because we're going to have to do this eventually. Holy snap, I haven't heard this music four times already. This was what I was thinking of. And not, not falling off like that, that's what happens when you touch it, but... I was thinking, oh, they put, like, crystals on the rails. This entire stage is all about the rails, and if you want to get a hundred crystals, this is what I was fearing. Also, because you have to jump. I, I can't do it if you jump. Yeah, I, I cannot do the jumps. No, seriously, this stage is just one long cart ride. And I'm sorry if I'm being silent. I'm sorry. I need to think of things. Um, Dantini Poop. I don't know. I could technically go back for all those crystals, but... I don't know, I'm doing well, mate. Oh, crap. Da dang it, I'm now going the same way. Well, sit back. Sick backs and enjoy the show. I don't know where that up path goes. It probably goes somewhere else. I mean, this is what I'm thinking. You know, that's a, this is a good idea. You have like an entire stage just built around the minecart. Like seriously, that's that's some clever thing. Can't kill yourself because for the most part, all the bones are still there. All right, come on, we can get this. I don't know how you get that. How do you get that? Stop getting all the crystals. This stage is annoying. This stage is annoying to get all the crystals in. It's official. Oh gosh. Alright, come on, I can get that one. There you go, got it. Maybe I can get all the hundred crystals. Because the thing is that I, I think it's stuff to go the right way. Said, though they keep taking me oh gosh so long <laughs> despite the fact that I keep going in the same sections all over again hey you know what the, the minecart stage why can't you just use these wheels they're just different sizes or something actually the carts like the front wheels were extremely tiny on the we went that way, now we're gonna go this way. Ah. Enemies. Oh crap, I didn't see that. Yeah, like I think that's good usage of stage ideas, you know? Right, it was right. There you go. Oh crap, I missed that one. <laughs> oh crap. Oh dang it. Am I going? Did I finish the stage? I got that. Went out of the stage. Alright, stop this. We're just getting the thing out. I don't care about 100 cent crystals, I mean, you can do that in your own spare time, okay? Also, how the heck did you get that crystal before? Uh, I don't know. I get to left. So you gotta lean left, you lean right, and then I think you gotta lean right again. There you go. We 
did it! Maybe. After we go around in circles 50,000 times. Oh, and after jump. Whoop! So you could get me there? No. But first, you must get the jiggy. I don't care about getting anyone the crystals. Why they put the swap meet Pete there? Why would you not go to the freaking jiggy? Mmm, gobble, I hear strange noises coming from forest. Ah, yes, this boss stage. I like it a lot. It reminds me a bit of Savina and Squid, you know, just because you're not jumping straight into the boss battle. But the idea is kind of weird. The music's good, though. <laughs> Very nice music. A bit of much. Oh! Holy snap! Repeating enemies! Actually, it's not that difficult of a stage. You just got these corridors that you gotta go up. These guys sometimes come to life and they sometimes don't. Uh, money. <laughs> I should be quite honest, it's kind of... Ah! I may as well say right now that this is the last world where things are quite regular. The next world just seems to take a bit of a dive. And then there's three... There's three more worlds after that, but for, the, for the technicality's sake, you don't really need to count them, because they're very short, and they don't really count, because they do things, like, really differently. No! 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 <laughs> Blah. Yeah, I know. And you know how in like Mario you want to get rid of the dry bones? Well, in this game apparently you can get rid of the skeletons. Oh gosh! Oh come on, I went like as soon as the first guy left. As soon as the first guy opened and I don't know. Anyway, here's the boss. Help! Gobo's trapped inside! Venus, something. Oh, you gotta roll rock. So, firstly, you gotta grab rock. And you gotta wait for them to like really open wide. You gonna open wide or no? Okay, I guess I just do this. Nah, you gotta wait for it to open wide. Why are you not opening? Open your face! Don't know what that vine is doing. Alright, come on. What? I got hit twice for that, are you kidding me? Again, yo. Go! Ah, that went in. Oh crap. What the heck? Did that count? It wasn't a hit, but okay, that was gobbo. Throw it again. Oh, dang it. After getting partially submerged with the ground. No clue where the gobbo went, but that's okay. There you go. So he spits that in. And he starts rolling back. Oh! I have to pick up the gobbo! Wow. Strange. Alright, but okay. Yeah, this is probably the Vegas battle in the game.
I mean, think about it, it's kind of a weird fight, to be honest. Oh, dang it, Steve. Let's go spit out more rocks. Well, that, that works too. Oh, snap. Don't you dare kill me. I don't like it in the morning. Dang it! Hey guys, it's Ben. I just wanted to tell you that I'm restocking all of my items. One of a failed boss fight, but also, I'm going to spend on two of these, because I don't think there are any more in the game. That being said, though, I'm not going to spend any more stuff, and I just wanted to... There you go. You don't have to have nine. It's the law! <laughs> it's the law! <laughs> Remember, it's only it's law to only have nine hearts, so technically Link is pushing it. Anyway, but yeah. So I've restocked on all my items, pretty much. Uh, but you're not going to really need the items, because... The next world's kind of only about half as big, and we'll probably get up to that. I didn't expect this stage to kill me, so I was kind of like, what? It helps if you pick up all the stuff. I think it's just because I took like way too many hits coming into this place. Oh, it's a blue sky, but it's a black sky in the stage. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, this stage, I kind of failed before. Um, I, I, I was just kind of carelessly going through, and I was taking way too many hits, so I only had about two hearts going into the actual stage, and going into the actual boss. What do you mean you there's a stage before the boss? We didn't do that last time. That didn't count. Bah. 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 So yeah, see, like, I've already taken three hits. It's kind of difficult because it's just tons of enemies. Like, you got all these skeletons. Like, there were about three of these skeletons in that in Cannonboat's Keep stage. And now look at it, there's five lined up. Anyway, we're almost done, though. This bit, I don't know how you do this though. Okay, you just you're supposed to ride the balloon, okay? So I, I jump in it as soon as it's done. I still get hit anyway. Is it just like they expect you to take a hit? Oh. I mean it looks like you can do it, but So anyway, this boss I was a little bit unsure of before. Just because I was going, hmm, what? And once you see exactly what what specifically hurts him. You'll be kind of questioning too. Anyway, you're supposed to stand on this and throw this and hope that it goes in. You think that you gotta wait until he opens his mouth or something, but no, you just actually just gotta try. Also, you gotta make sure you don't get hit. And don't get hit by the vine. It does this nice dig. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Don't worry, it makes more rocks, but you gotta keep going and getting more rocks. See, see, look at this, he just keeps hitting ya. It's like a boss that's supposed to do that. Anyway, I recommend aiming a bit to the left, but still, ugh. Alright, go, go. That freaking vine up the top. Alright, come on, we can do this. There we go, got it. Once he does that, he spits out Gobbo. And you just gotta pick up the Gobbo. And that apparently hurts him. The picking up of the Gobbo, not actually spitting him out. Go. There you go, there you go. Uh, also, is he saying bugger? Because, jeez, that's, that's not nice. 
Yeah, that guy's a bugger. Anyway, come on, get in. Oh, dude. Oh. See, on my original playthrough of this game, like, as a very young kid, I grinded the boat, gr the boat ra racing game so many times. Oh, dude. What is with the frame rate even? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm getting a fair amount of lag. And I really don't don't know why. Yeah, it's not as bad as before, you know, like one frame a second. Still. It's something that I'm just constantly dealing with in this game. Ugh, how could you? How could you make this? Oh crap! Sometimes the rock just doesn't want to roll. I don't know why. That's how the rock rolls. Let me get that rock. Pick it up. All right, come on, Vine, move your butt, move your butt, Vine. All right, come on, get in his mouth. And then he doesn't spit out the other gobbo, he just kind of goes, yay. And oh my gosh, yeah. Hellfire, that green do good. Unleash my terrible village mashing automaton. <laughs> but it's not ready. Your mean is <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this game. Even in its weird stages. <laughs> I would like one of those. Bugger. 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 Oh, oh. Jump. Jump. Jump, Mega Man! <laughs> and then they go run inside their caves. Are they happy? Are they sad? We may never know. But anyway, I am back after a break because I finally fixed the lag problem, possibly. Well, I think he can. That's a CD lag. <laughs> Epic sequence break right there. But I'm not gonna do that. So we still we're still dealing with yeah, we're still dealing with the same things that we've had before. I'm just gonna take some nice jumps over them. <laughs> and then we are going to climb this. Because that's the way to the next bit. It's kind of strange this stage. I might turn this down a bit. Because it seems to do every si everything the same as the last boss. I don't. Oh gosh. Narrow platforms. Love them. Yeah. For some odd reason, it really does. It's styled exactly the same. Same enemies. Same structure, kind of. You know, you've got the outdoor, and then you've got the cave. It's, it's... I'm not entirely sure why they decided to take the same approach with both stages. I mean, if you look at the first world, the first world seemed to... The first world had, like, an outdoor thingo, while the second boss had, a, had an in-cave kind of thing. Even though, yeah. And... The second... The second world, for some reason, they didn't have before stages, but considering that both both of these stages have had the same kind of style, uh, the next the next world it's completely different. Uh, but anyway, here he is. He's a lot larger than you thought. Oh, and he breathes fire. Uh, what do you gotta do? You gotta firstly run into him because that's not what you have to do. But you gotta pick up the bucket. You gotta go up to the water, and the bucket just <laughs> flies out. And the bucket is filled, and I believe you have to throw that. I believe. Did you have to throw 
Wait, did I get the... Yeah, I got the hit for that. You have to th throw it into his mouth as he's breathing fire. You don't want to get burnt in the process. It's actually rather easy when you think about it. Considering you just got to go around, kind of dodge the fire he's placing. To be quite honest, this world is probably the flimsiest of them all. I mean, look at that. That was it. That was it. And he falls over, and you win. But you don't get any of your crystals. I don't know why. But anyway, that was it. I'm not doing that voice ever again. Dude, was that guy about to talk to me again? Well, Croc, it seems that you make friends very easily. The king was most impressed. Oh, dear we. We must find a way to get you home, dearest and most honored friend. I think you should see the Inca Gobos. They're very wise and well-traveled. They know how to get you home in one piece. I just want me, Pete. We'll take you there. And we load. Holy snap. Hello there. Who would you be? I'm Croc. Looking for my long-lost friends. And well, the inventor might be able to help if we could find him. He's vanished. Okay, so the ink is, uh, British, okay. I'll go with that. Uh, anyway, this is the strangest world of them all, but we'll look into it next time. Alright, see you guys then. And, by the way, everything from, um, all the footage, this part from that cutscene, uh, onward, all of that is <laughs> a different setting, I know. But I finally fixed the lag problem, mostly. So, I'll talk about it next time. See you guys then.